Hey everybody, and welcome back to Ducks and Download. So in this video, I wanted to go over the trailer that leaked from Celebration, no, not the Mando one, which was amazing, but definitely the Tales of the Jedi. This is another animated series, much like Bad Batch and Clone Wars, which is gonna bring us back to some hardcore nostalgia for those who remember the Clone Wars on Cartoon Network. So far, we know of two main stories that are gonna be told in this series. Ahsoka Tano from birth through later parts of her life, and Count Dooku. Mostly it looks like the fall of Count Dooku. So let's tackle the Count Dooku one first. In this one, we're getting to see Count Dooku kind of become more jaded with the Jedi Order and realizing that they're not gonna do what he feels should be done to help the galaxy maintain peace. Even hinting to Qui-Gon in part of the trailer that he'll do whatever it takes to keep peace and justice in the galaxy, even going as far as to kill those he deems unnecessary. This is when we're gonna see the elitism really start coming out of Count Dooku that we didn't later see in the Clone Wars saga and following up in the movies with Christopher Lee. There seems to be some animosity between Mace and Dooku. They even have a really brilliant scene fighting off droids together, which looks absolutely stellar and I'm excited for those episodes. Getting to also see young Qui-Gon is gonna be really, really, really cool. Now, we don't only just have flashbacks from the audio drama Jedi Lost and the recently released Master and Apprentice. So getting to finally see them on screen in action is gonna be so cool as Dooku and Qui-Gon are definitely my number one duo. But that kind of pales in comparison with what we get next from Ahsoka Tano. So a lot of the scenes started out with her as a very young girl, a baby almost, on Shili, finding out her powers and having a village elder kind of say she is a Jedi. From there, we get to see Anakin brutally training Ahsoka with clone troopers using stun weapons against her really kind of cementing the fact the Jedi in this time frame during the Clone Wars saga are not the Jedi the galaxy will remember and of course makes it far easier for Palpatine to make these Jedi seem more aggressive and evil come the rise of the Empire. But the number one most amazing thing that we get to see in Ahsoka's part of this trailer, a dark side user wielding a dual bladed saber. This is amazing. A lot of people are making jokes, oh here comes Maul again, but this is different. The vibe that this entity gives off is not Inquisitorium. He doesn't have the same armor or the same vibe that an Inquisitor would have. Now I am going to assume and definitely speculate that this is where Ahsoka will get the two crystals that she's going to use to turn into her white sabers. But I don't think this is an Inquisitor. A lot of people are starting to think, well, this might be the sixth brother. But to me, this person looks way more ancient. The robes and the mask really make me feel like ancient Sith. The Inquisitors never really wore masks. Masks seems to be some weird type of symbology that happens a lot in the Sith religion and the Sith cult. So this might actually be a Sith, maybe an ancient one, like we get to see in Shadow of the Sith, a mask that is actually possessing somebody, like Lord Momin, or in the book, Viceroy Panshard. These masks can easily take control of Force-sensitive or even non-Force-sensitive entities, making them do their biddings at no care for the pain and agony of the wearer of the mask. So I'm thinking that Ahsoka Tano is gonna be fighting off an ancient Sith spirit haunting the very body of maybe someone we've already seen before. So guys, thank you so much for joining me for these speculations and fun little theories. Let me know your theories down below. Who do you think this crazed mask and hooded Sith is? What do you think Dooku's ultimate sense of loss is gonna be? Is it his fight with Yaddle that really cements him into the dark side? Or is it a slow, progressive fall? I look forward to hearing from you all. So of course, leave those comments, like, share, and subscribe. It means the world to me to share my love and passion for Star Wars with all of you. Have an amazing rest of your day, and may the Force serve you well.